So for downloading uh, any of our shaders, in this case, we're going to look at our uh, ocean water shader. You go to our website, lopopshaders.com, and you can uh, visit our store and browse all the stuff that we have on here, including HDR maps, or you can go directly to our ocean shader in this case. We see it here. We've got download and pro kit options. So we go to our store page here, and uh, I've got a video here on Vimeo. Uh, you can go to the site, go full screen, take a look at that. That's basically a scene uh, rendered with our ocean shader. Now all this was applied on just like a flat grid geometry and that's all our ocean shader. Uh, so it's a very simple geo and our ocean shader is doing the rest, all the displacements, white caps, etc. Got a couple of examples of our ocean shader here used on a TV series called Paddle Pop. So just to get a flavor of sort of a cartoony style, although as you can see up here, you can do a lot more photo reel. Same shader. So you add to the cart. And you come over here, and depending on how many artists are going to be using it and size of your studio, uh, you should do the licenses here. So let's say you had four artists using it. You update that, you check out, and it'll take you to our checkout page. You sign in with a Google account, and uh, off you go. And once that's checked through, uh, you'll get an email. Um, that'll be a download. So you'll come to your email, you have a download. Thanks again, and you'll get a download link. So as soon as you hit that, uh, it basically downloads the archive um, and it'll be a zip file onto your disk so it'll look like this when you expand it we've got a pro kit, I've already downloaded it and here's all the stuff that comes with it um, so you've got your HDR environment map inside here you got all the light shaders that you need to run some of the examples a couple of renders you can uh, look through that uh, we've done just on our uh, little lollipop there for um, just a different setting so you can browse through those You've got the shaders in here. If you purchase the shader source code, you'll see all that in here. Um, so there's a lot of different little shaders and utility shaders that come with it. And um, you've got the rib file. So these are the big, uh, basically the render man scene files. And we've kind of prepared these so you can just right out of the box get a simple render. Obviously, you're going to be using it in Maya or Houdini or uh, any other kind of software. However, the rib file is what those 3D packages generate at the end of the day and you can run them directly with RenderMan. So that's what we've packaged up here, just so it works like right out of the box with simple settings. So it's as easy, like, it's as, easy as basically double clicking on it. And we've got one that render EXR, ones that will render into like a RenderMan's it display driver. So you just have to rem remember that it has to be running. Uh, so I'm just gonna run it in my command prompt here. And I already have my path set. So if I just take a look at for example, my on my Mac OS X, my profile. And we're going to look at it. So I've got the location to where my RenderMan Studio 3 is. And there's my it app. So I can just run it right from the command line. And here it pops up. So why do I want to do that? I just want it running. So now when I double click on this rib file that comes in the pro kit render man launches and it will render that rib and it should start rendering in my it window and here it is so that's just a very simple ocean scene and that's the rib file and you can just see it rendering again pretty quick uh, simple example there and so basically it ran render man now if you want to just drag and drop you can double click it, but you can also drag and drop it right into your render man. It'll basically do the same thing and you'll see an interactive render uh, right into your it window. Now also there's an Ocean EXR here. So that essentially does the same thing, except uh, if you don't have it running, it'll just render an EXR. So let's say double click on that. Wow, look at all these files that showed up. Uh, we've got Ocean EXR. We've got a lot of the AOVs, like the arbitrary output variables. Uh, Ocean color, ocean color too. So you can see it's, it's kind of rendering. So uh, you're not going to see much in there until it's finished. Uh, and when that's finished rendering, voila, it's the same file that we rendered in it, except I'm just looking at it in my finder and it's ocean.exr. So this will just bring it up in max preview. So the color space is a little bit off in the gamma, but uh, you know, it should look more like that. But again, just uh, kind of a out of the box. Um, when you purchase our pro kits, it just renders right out of the box there. And if you want to take a look at those rib files and play with all the settings, just load them up in a text editor. I use Sublime. And if we view Ocean EXR, 
Um, here we can see the display driver renders to an EXR file. Uh, the other ocean will just render into the di it display window. And we've got all the settings in here. So you can take a look through those. And this is essentially what Houdini or Maya will export, and then it'll render in RenderMan. So you can change all the shader parameters, et cetera, et cetera. And here, we won't go into detail right now on that. That's just how you purchase this shader and download it and run it. And also, um, if you want to use, for example, Houdini, which I like to use, how does it look like in there? Well, if you take a look at the shaders in your shader directory, so in our pro kit, we're right here in our pro kit, we can see, just go into shaders, that's where the shaders are, and they're already compiled in there. And again, if you purchase the source code, you'll have the source code. If you purchase just the compiled versions, you'll have your SLO. And RenderMan, you, uh, when, when you're compiling it, it's an SLO, but Houdini takes an OTL. So you just have to run SLO to OTL, so Python command dash L. And then, for example, in this case, it's the disp choppy ocean is the displacement shader. So you just type that in and then you type in the SLO. So we're creating an OTL, which is for Houdini and we're giving it our compiled shader. And I've already done all this for the shaders, but I'm just showing how to do it. Now, when I list it, we've got an OTL and we can bring that into Houdini and that's our displacement shader and ditto with our surface shader. And we can render in a 3D package like Houdini. So we would just go in Houdini uh, install digital asset library. Sorry if the menu is off screen there. And then we just point it to our OTL that we just created. I've already done that and loaded it in. Once you've done that, when you're in Houdini and you're in your shop, uh, which is your shader network, right in here, you can just hit tab and bring in the ocean shader, for example, ocean color. And there it comes in. And then you've got all the parameters in here. You can tweak all the parameters and we have these documented. So I've already brought that in, so I'm gonna delete it. And basically in this scene, in Houdini, we just have a simple, simple geometry. If you, we drop into here, we just have a grid. If you wanna see that in our viewport, here's our viewport. And it's just a simple grid with the background sphere with one of our HDR environment maps that we have on our website. And again, we get that very same render we did out of the rib file, uh, but I just rendered it in Houdini here instead. Our rib, rib output driver here, again, same settings, and we just hit render, and we get the same, uh, same kind of settings that we saw uh, earlier. And I also did like an animation, uh, so you can uh, put your frame number in your displacement shader. So you've got your surface and your displacement, and if you put the frame number uh, here to dollar sign f in Houdini you can very easily as we can see here animate the ocean so I just brought it in basic settings I put the frame number in here now we've got our waves moving this is a simple example as you can see from our other renders you can have the white caps in here etc and dial your noise but just wanted to show a simple example downloading it straight from our site and uh, loading it up and uh, using it in Houdini or just rendering the rib and you get a nice uh, simple ocean here that you can tweak. So again, just to summarize, once we purchased it off the website, we went into the downloads and we got the uh, link here. We downloaded the pro kit, which comes here and you just double click on the ribs or you can uh, drag and drop them into your render man when you have Pixar's render man running. And that rib is basically this, the render man scene file. And you get a render in, you can use mplay, uh, you can use it, which comes with render man studio. We've got all the settings, and then you can also load it in a package like Houdini or Maya. Maya is very simple, you just bring in the SLO as well. And you've got all your parameters here for the surface and displacement of the ocean shader. So if you have any questions, give us a shout at info at lollipopshaders.com and uh, hope you enjoy this shader and other plug-in shaders that we have on our website.